In this video, I'm going to be breaking down how to stop the gun tight flex in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now if you're new to my channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Also, if you have any questions, you can always hit me up via text message. My cell phone number, it will be in the top right hand corner of your screen. It is also down below in the description. Now, as you guys know, I love the nickel 335 and the 335 wide and normal defensive scheme out of the 46 playbook. I actually wrote a whole ebook on this defense. And so if you want to get the full ebook that shows you how to stop every single formation in this game, it's available for just 15 bucks down in the description. But what we want to focus on today is sharing with you a specific setup that's going to do a really good job at stopping some of the most popular concepts out of the gun tight flex. Okay. So all we're going to do here is we're going to go into our nickel 335 wide defense. We're going to hit the, the left. We're going to click into the play menu here. We're going to hit left trigger for the audibles. And we're going to put cover four show two in our audibles. As you can see right here, it's our L1 audible. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our coaching adjustments and we are going to put our ball in air defense to play ball. Our option defense is going to be on conservative and then our flats are going to be on 30 yards. You can see right here, our curl flats are going to be put on to 10 or 5, depending on if they're running a lot of crossing little drag routes or if they're running a lot of flat routes. Okay, but I like to start with 10 and then we're going to put our hooks on 5 yards. So we're going to have 30 yard curl flat or cloud flats, 20 yard curl flats, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, 30 yard cloud flats, 10 yard curl flats, and 5 yard hook curls. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to come out in the nickel 335 cover 4 drop and we're going to then audible down into the cover 4 show 2. Now, our adjustments are as follows. We're going to put both of our outside corners into cloud flats, as you can see right here. And then what I like to do is I actually like to turn those quarter flats into curl flats. And the reason why is because they're going to do a little bit better of a job at getting outside a little bit faster. So I'm going to quickly move and put both of those into curl flats as you can see right here. And then from there, what I like to do is I like to drop a three rec hook from the outside defensive lineman. So in this situation, we've created a four down lineman front. So it's going to be Gary that we're going to put him into a bluff blitz. You see there, he's going to drop into a three rec hook zone just like that. And then from there, all I like to do is I like to man up the outside receiver of the tight up or uh, of the tight flex. So I'm going to put um, Marquez Vada Scantling. I'm going to man this linebacker up, the square linebacker Amos. I'm going to man him up onto uh, the square receiver. Okay. Now, if you could make an argument to man this guy up, if anyone goes in motion, I will man them up onto him as well. So, for example, let's say that they. Um, Let's say that they put Tavon Austin in motion. I'm instantly going to man him up because you see that he's going to be the, now the most outside receiver. Okay. We want him in man coverage against the most outside receiving threat. Another little thing that they can do if they wanted to out of this formation is they could motion out Devontae uh, Adam. Well, I guess they can't motion. They can motion to the right. You see here if they motion, you know, see that I can just kind of cross man that. And basically, he's, you know, whoever they motion, I'm going to key on with Amos, but if they don't motion anybody and they're just in the 2 by 2 set, then I'm going to man him up on square. But you can play around with who you man him up on. He's kind of your, your you know, what they what I would call a swing defender, okay? Now what you're going to see here at a PA post shot, let me show you the route combination that you're going to see. Um, the first thing is, it is very likely that you're going to see something to this effect right here. Um, this is a very nice little route combination out of this, you know, some, doing something basically just like this um, to try to hit that square receiver. That's why you've got him manned up. That cross man is going to save you because these 30 yard club flats won't always get out there. The match coverage will do a decent job, but you'll see right here that square receiver, you need that man coverage to catch up. You see he does it, he's able to catch up and he's able to make a play on the ball. But that motion right there is one of the most critical things that you have to be prepared to stop. Um, if you're not prepared to stop that flood right there, that's one of the things that can kill you, okay? So you have to, and again, whenever you're building a defense, in my opinion, you have to be aware of where you're vulnerable. Now, the next route combination will be this bench switch right here. Um, so there'd be something like something like this right here, right? Um, and what you'll notice, again, this is where that man coverage is going to come in. So we're going to man him up here. We've got the two cloud flat 
flats uh, outside there. We've got the three rack. You can leave the quarter flats if you want to. Uh, I just like to put them in curl flats. That's like the last thing that I'll do. Because if I don't have time, it's not that big of a deal. But what you'll see here is that 30 yard or that, that curl flat zone should take that guy away. As you see, he does. He's able to get out there. The 30 yard cloud flat is able to get out on the corner route like the little smart routed one. So you see we've taken that away. Now, uh, one thing you have to be aware of actually out of this formation is some, some different motions. So I'm going to show you some different motions that they can do. This is probably, in my opinion right now, this is the hardest uh, hardest offense you consistently defend in the community. It's, it's one of the best offenses that I've come across. So what you'll see here is with this little motion out, you know, maybe they can do something like this. They're going to motion out that circle receiver all the way to the outside. And you could see something like this being a problem. As you can see there, that's a problem. Again, what I would stress to you is if you see motion, you need to get that guy manned up if possible. So, because um, it's typically, it, it, typically their motion snaps are going to be some type of corner route, some type of um, motion slant, something, right? So as long as we can take, you know, one of our guys and we can man him up, that's really the key. So right here, we've set up our defense and we see, oh, they're going to motion, okay? Well, if we see that they motion, then our immediate reaction to motion has got to be cross the earth to man that up. So let me show you my defensive play here. Now, if I, if, if I see circle, if I see the circle receiver motion out, I'm going to quickly man up that linebacker onto him just like this. Now we've taken that away. All I've got to do is take away any immediate flats. But as you can see there, you know, that combination is now squashed. It's just a, the simple act of the cross manning that I think really is, is really important if you're playing this. Now, again, this is all football theory and it's great, but if you're in gameplay, you know, you got to be able to adjust fast. That's just the reality of it. Um, it does take some adjustments to stop this, this, this formation. Okay, so the next play that I want to cover is the play. Uh, let's let's go over uh, let's go over PA post shot real quickly. Uh, let's go over to a little bit of a different method here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna smart route that square receiver. We're gonna leave that crossing route where it is, and then we're just gonna block. Let's just say that we did something like this. Okay. So I just want you to watch this this route combination now again remember of our main coverage and everything else that we're doing we should be able to take care of this um, i'm just going to show you the two routes that i'm worried about the most and then this route to the triangle receiver you'll see that if we throw this this route to the triangle receiver if we have time in the pocket which is very possible if you have a good opportunity to step up into the pocket and throw the ball to that triangle receiver um, you certainly can uh, you certainly can hit this. So let me show you this one more time. I'm just going to spy. I'm going to spy the defensive line just so I can show you the routes, more importantly. And uh, we'll just block him right back. So what you'll see here is this strong receiver. If he can wait on it, 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 and then pass lead it up. You see, that's the problem. That, that right there is the problem uh, with this offense, in my opinion. That is, the, that is one of the best... Uh, assets that they have let me show you a, let me show you the same kind of route to the opposite direction out of the cross play um, let's see here okay so let me show you the same same kind of route combination uh, this is for the cross play so uh, we're just going to spy them off again and if you watch that circle receiver is this one probably won't get open as well but we'll show you here see so he just crosses 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 you see how they see how the quarter matches onto him unfortunately for whatever reason he doesn't match onto the opposite side guy even though the opposite side guy when he goes vertical so an even better way in my opinion to run this would be to do something like if you were trying to really hit that work that crossing route you know you could you could do something like this right here um like i could see this route combination being a little bit of an issue so let's go back to that cover four So in this situation, you know what? You might man this guy up. If, even if you man this guy up on the on the slot, the problem is if he has route tech, 
like in, in you know like people in Mutt would definitely put something on this guy. Um, Rags that's where Devontae Adams would be. He's just gonna get open. But as you see right here, you know you, they're not. If they run vertical, they're not gonna hit him because you see the the match deep, the the quarter is going to do his job. He's gonna get back on the ball. The problem is that I mean you've got these things at 30 yard depth, right? Um, so in theory it wouldn't work, but with this formation, that's where you just have to be aware of your weaknesses so that you can you can get it with your user. But what you'll see here is if they run this specific combination, um, something like I said, something like this right here, watch that triangle receiver. I mean, he's gonna get over it. And he is going, I mean, it's just straight up pass lead up. And it's a one play touchdown against cover four quarters, right? I mean, that's crazy. It's just crazy how good this, this offense is. Um, and so what you have to do on the offensive side of the ball, in my opinion, is you have to just use, I mean, some, some of it's like, you just have to use it. Okay. Some of it is literally, you just have to use it. Now, if I manned up trying on him, I just want to show you really quickly what I'm talking about as far as if they have the route running thresholds over 90 and they have good, um, you know, maybe they have a route tech or maybe a deep out of lead or, or whatever it might be. Um, if they have that, you're going to see, watch right there, he's going to light up. He doesn't get all the way open there, but, you know, that, and that could be something you could do is man him up individually. The problem then is, let me talk about another play real quick here or something like this play inside high low. Yeah, this would this would be a, another issue because because now it's not the triangle receiver. Now it's and that's where you can't. That's where in this year's game, I don't think cross fading solves as much as it has in the past um, because a lot of the routes are coming from different. You know, it's like the same route, but it's coming from different people. So you'll see right here, it's coming from that square receiver. So now, oh, you don't have him cross man. And look at how open that is. You see that right there. So that's that's why this is the issue. So when you when you see that initial crossing action, that's where I would recommend just jump on that with your user. Um, that can be kind of one of your big things. So you can kind of jump down here, but once you see that crossing route coming, you need to get over the top of that. Okay, that's just that's just my opinion. Um, the outside quarter is not going to do a great job. So like you'll see here, um, let's say that I put. Let's say that I just ran this, this play kind of as is. You'll see that if I you know do that same route combination that I was showing you here, this triangle receiver, uh, he's he should do a decent job. You see there, um, well, I guess they did a little bit better. But then the problem is they're not going to be able to stop crossing routes. There's, there's a lot of issues that come with that. Um, so you could play this, this stock quarters coverage if you wanted to. Uh, I just would recommend going back and forth between the two because if they're running – that it's like this is not going to be everything right so if you run some if you call this defense right here then the play that they're going to want to go into is they're going to want to go into some kind of switch action uh, and what you'll see is that that circle receiver will typically do a pretty good job I, I needed to streak the, the tight end there but but you'll see this is this is going to be a challenge so again you're going to see here and let me just go down into that cover four from tight See that the circle receiver should get open to the outside. Um, Jair Alexander is a little bit of a special circumstance, but normally that corner route will get open. Um, another route that would get open, let's see here, maybe mesh uh, on the opposite side. So, and that's what's cool about this is like the route combos you can create. You can create the same kind of thing on both sides of the field, which is really, really cool. And there you see, that's what I'm talking about. So if that corner doesn't have deep out of lead on him, then he's he's going to be able to, to complete it. But those are some thoughts. Um, those are some thoughts on how to defend gun tight flex in Madden 21. Um, that would go in between those two defenses. Also some man coverage and then some Maybelline, of course, as well. It's really effective. So thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions at all, uh, feel free to text me. If you want to get my full ebook on this and show shows you step by step how to blitz it, how to stop the run, how to pass defense out of it against pretty much every formation in the game, my nickel 335 wide defensive guide is literally just 15 bucks. We've been running it since june of last year so we almost have a full year in this playbook and have been very very effective with this defense thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in our next video